Hello guys and welcome to this new grease pencil blender tutorial. So this video is an addition to the short video Dante made about creating reflection. That video was also in response to my trying to add a reflection to this Peppa Pig rig. Thank you Dante very much. You can find Dante's short in the cards. Follow the arrow. It's on the top right of this video or in the description. If you want to create a rig like this, there is a tutorial on this channel. You can find it on the top right or in the description. You can also so buy the rig from Gumroad. Well, what would be ideal is that we can add a mirror modifier, change the X to Z, and then we should have an opacity setting to create a reflection. That may be added in a future blender, but for now I had to flip my whole rig and add an opacity modifier. But also the opacity modifier didn't work as expected. So as you can see, we are lowering the opacity and see that the object, the whole object is not faded, but it's like X-ray. We can see layers and their layers and strokes and under other fills and even in the same material a stroke with a fill we can see the stroke and also the fill. Dante's solution is a feature available in Blender but it is hidden like a lot of gems hidden inside Blender. So if you go here to the effects panel you can add a colorized effect. I actually went to these effects here looking for opacity but of course when you see colorize you don't imagine that. So let's choose colorize and then change the mode from grayscale to transparent. Here my friends we can fade our character. Let's delete it. And now let's see how I did add the reflection to my character. So here we have a collection with my rig and also my grease pencil character. And what we need to do is to duplicate this collection. Before you duplicate your collection, make sure that you finished your animation and that you don't have anything to add to it. So let's go here and hit duplicate collection. I tried duplicate linked, but it didn't work. It started flipping both rigs. So we do just regular duplicate collection. And now we hide our piggy collection here. Make sure we are in object mode and in frame one. And here we can flip our rig. It will be easy because we have our origin here in the bottom. So we do R X short on the x-axis and then 180 480 degrees and enter now we can unhide our other collection and we can go forward in time and see if everything is working as we want you see here that their feet are overlapping you see here it's like sinking a little bit and then here we have a space between the sliders here so what we need to do is to go back to frame one select our rig and move it a little bit back so that they don't overlap so g y and move it just a little bit and I think I should hide the shadow we have an extra shadow here so we select our grease pencil object we go to the layers and I hide the shadow here and then we select our rig again and we can go forward let's check our dop sheet frames while we are doing that so these are the frames we need the ones for object transforms move in time you see that they are still overlapping. This is because this keyframe here was overwritten by other keyframes. So let's delete all the Y keyframes and keep only the first one. So select these, XD to remove them, these two, XD and no overlapping here. We we'll still go further. Here you see that the sliders sunk a little bit. So let's move the rig on the Z, G, Z and move it like this maybe. Let's check if it works. I think I will duplicate the Z frame and put it here and then let's go forward. It doesn't look very good with this one, but if I lower more this rig, I will create a space here and I don't want it. So let's go again. See that here we have a space. Let's move this up, G, Z and move it here. I think here I will move it down. So G, Z and move it down like this. Let's check it like this. Well, it's not that bad. And then there is like a little space here that we can fill, I guess. So GZ and then here when there is a flip. So we have a keyframe for Z here and then suddenly it will change here. So we do GZ and move this down. And here, I guess I would need to move it again down like this. And I hope this is the last one. Yeah, I think I did it. So depending on your project, depending on the situation, you may have to adjust the methods to create your reflection. Now, all we need to do is to select our grease pencil object, the duplicate and go to effects here and add a colorize effect, change the mode to transparent. The factor is 0.5. I think that's fine. Disable overlays and we have this. 
So this is it, some guidance from Dante and from me if you want to add reflections to your animations or your art, your grease pencil art. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace.